Welcome to the Recovery Room's second of three videos on the COVID-19 vaccine. In video number one, we covered general topics about the COVID-19 vaccine, including how it's made, how it works, and we dispelled some misconceptions. You can find the link to that video in the description section of this video. In this video number two, we are talking about the COVID-19 vaccine as it relates to people with cancer, to those currently in cancer treatment, and to those with a history of cancer. And in the upcoming video number three, we'll talk about the logistics of actually getting the vaccine. I'm cancer physical therapist, Dr. Leslie Waldke. Welcome to the recovery room. We are talking about the COVID-19 vaccine and cancer. This is important stuff to understand, so please share this with your social media and cancer communities. This information is accurate as of January 3rd, 2021, and is sourced from the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, ASCO, which is the American Society of Clinical Oncology, and the Infectious Disease Society of America. In mid-December 2020, ASCO, the American Society of Clinical Oncology, and the Infectious Disease Society of America met to discuss important considerations for people affected by cancer and the COVID-19 vaccine. The link for this actual webinar meeting is also in the description section of this video. The three big questions they discussed were, number one, should people with cancer be vaccinated against COVID-19? Two, should people undergoing active treatment for cancer be vaccinated against COVID-19? And three, should cancer survivors be vaccinated against COVID-19? After their discussions, their conclusion for all three questions is about the same. And that is this, and I quote, at this time, patients with cancer, patients in active cancer treatment, and cancer survivors may be offered vaccination against COVID-19 as long as components of that vaccine are not contraindicated." Unquote. So in layman's language, this means unless you have a specific allergy or known reaction to a specific component in the vaccine, you are okay to get the COVID-19 vaccine. Here are some caveats to understand. One, there is no live virus in the COVID-19 vaccine, so no one, not even people who are severely immune compromised, can get COVID-19 from the COVID-19 vaccine. And since studies have shown that if you are immune suppressed or have active cancer, your risk of getting severely ill or dying from COVID-19 if you were to contract it is much higher than the general population. So chances are, when you talk with your medical oncology or primary care medical provider, they will most likely urge you to get the vaccine. Number two, it is true that the Pfizer and Moderna vaccine trials, which are the two currently available here in the U.S., did not include patients getting chemotherapy or other immune suppressing cancer treatments. So it is true that to date there is no official data on the safety and efficacy of the Pfizer and Moderna vaccines in cancer patients. Yet, other types of immune suppressed people, like people with HIV, were included and there was no evidence of harm related to immune suppression. And again, because there was no active virus in the COVID-19 vaccine, even though the Pfizer and Moderna vaccines weren't specifically tested on cancer patients, it is still likely that your medical team will still recommend the vaccine to you even if you have advanced cancer or are currently in treatment. And three, and this is a big one if you are immune suppressed. Immune suppressed means that your immune system is sluggish. So if it is confronted with a pathogen instead of a fast and robust attack and conquer response of a healthy immune system, an impaired immune system will have a slow and possibly only partially effective attack response, which could lead to that person to get sick. So in people that are immune suppressed, though getting the vaccine is not unsafe, there is some uncertainty if a sluggish immune system will have the ability to actually respond to what the vaccine is trying to teach it, which is to build a response to the coronavirus. So how effective the vaccine is in protecting immune suppressed people from COVID-19 is still a question. Your doctor will still most likely suggest you get the vaccine, but until we know more, if you are immune suppressed, even if you are vaccinated, you and the people around you still should continue to follow all the standard coronavirus protection practices that we all are familiar with, 
like hand washing, physical distancing, and wearing a face covering. And always remember, if you have specific questions about your specific health and your specific risk, don't go to Dr. Google, go to your medical doctor and get your specific answer. And yes, when the vaccine does become available to the general public, we in healthcare and groups like ASCO and the American Cancer Society will be advocating that patients with cancer and those in treatment get moved towards the front of the line for their shot in the arm. I'm Dr. Leslie Walkie signing out from the recovery room. Let's talk again soon.